Hi, my name's Tony Lowe. I'm an application engineer at Expo, and today I want to discuss the IOLM, the Intelligent Optical Link Mapper application from Expo. The IOLM is an application that can be used on many of our platforms. I have, partic I have a particular platform today, the FTB1, that can be used as a dedicated fiber tester or ethernet tester with the module capability on the back. Uh, this platform has many different features on it. It does have a gig E port, two USB ports, and these other ports that are located on the top, one, it can have a dedicated power meter port. It can also have a visual fault locator, a red light. And then on the top, we can have different configurations for the uh, acquisition of the IOLM. This one particular application, uh, this particular port is a 1550-1310 uh, OTDR. On the second port, if you have a live network that you want to test and you want to be able to isolate and find problems in the network, we have a 1625 application that I have on here. So as I get ready to move forward, this is a Windows-based application, so it's very easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and launch the application, the IOLM, and let's see what, uh, what the GUI looks like. Okay, so now that I've got the IOLM set up, I'm going to go ahead and take an acquisition. So the first thing I want to do is connect my fiber, clean it, plug it into the, the appropriate port, and then hit start. Okay, so now I've initiated the IOLM application on my FTB1. And there's a couple of things in the user preferences that I want to make sure that are selected. One is going to be the user preference. And when I see on here, one of the things, one of the benefits of the IOLM is that I can export an IOLM.SOR uh, OTDR trace, uh, but I haven't, this is not the next step. The next step would be to also tell the IOLM I want to see the OTDR graph on my PDF report. So you can see there's a couple of different uh, ways I can create a report, but PDF. Hit apply. And then second thing would be to look at test configurations. The benefit of the IOLM is that it can help to determine pass fails. And the pass fails are determined by test configurations that are used in the IOLM to determine if the event is good or bad. So point to point is going to be the application that I'll use for today. You can also use user configurations. You can create test configurations based on a network or a customer as well and put this into the unit. There's also the ability to add and uh, launch and receive fibers into the fiber span. Uh, I don't have a launch and receive fiber for this test today, so I will leave those unchecked. And then I want to make sure that my wavelengths are checked correctly. I want to use 1310 and 1550, and then it's start. So now that the IOLM has taken the acquisition, I'm going to quickly look on my link view, very easy to read link view, and determine if there's anything in that span that I might want to uh, look at and correct. And so you'll see there's a lot of green squares on here. There's a lot of green events in this particular span, but there's one that gets my attention, and it's right here at 15.378 kilometers from where I'm standing, and it's a red box, and it looks to me like it's a bent fiber. So I can come down to the IOLM and look at the actual measurements that it, that it looked at, and at 1310 versus 1550, I see a much higher loss at 1550 than I do at 1310. And so the IOLM has identified this as a macro bend in the span, and that is an unexpected loss and can cause problems when you try to turn up your network. So now that I look at it, it's one thing to be able to identify the particular event, but the strength of the IOLM is also to go down and look, and we have a diagnostic piece as well. And this is telling me to go to that location and inspect the fiber in that area to search for excessive bending or cable compression. So this gives me the ability to quickly respond to a problem in the network or also to quickly fix something as well and fix it accurately. Um, so we can see that there's a lot of benefit to this particular uh, IOLM application. So now the next thing I would do at this point, I would say, okay, I've got my, I've got my IOLM. So now I want to go back and I want to actually create a report on the platform that I can use to turn into uh, to someone. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here to my Windows-based platform and ask it to create a report. And it's going to create a PDF report that I can use and I can send to someone. So now you're seeing the strength of the IOLM. It's very simple to use. It identifies events in the cable span and it will give me pass fails based on thresholds that I've placed into the unit. And it also will give me a diagnostic so that I can go out and fix the span. And that's the key. It's gonna take a, an inexperienced technician. It's gonna raise them to the level of expertise. It's gonna create credibility with the trace and it's gonna create consistency across all the testing procedures. So that's the strength of the IOLM. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.